Well, the chassis times are a changing. Hi everyone, it's a four gun guy. And uh, you know that in all my other videos from a chassis standpoint, I have been a staunch MDT ACC guy. Just so you know what's going on, I'm going from the CZ to the Bergara B14R, which is a 700 footprint. And I could have just gone with another MDT ACC chassis. But I'm going to be honest with you, I was so upset at that ACC for the CZ457 that I decided to give someone else my business. And that someone else is MPA. Uh, a lot of the guys I shoot with uh, shoot MPA chassis. In fact, I've shot with one of, the, uh, one of the guys that works there now. Great guy. And a very good friend of mine happened to give me a 40% cert that he got from a match he shot. So you can't pass that stuff up. So uh, I'm going to put that Bergara into an MPA Matrix Pro chassis. I've got it right here. In fact, it just came today. I'm excited about it. And I thought I'd do just a, a kind of quick video uh, on the chassis, why the switch to the Matrix Pro. Uh, I want to do a pretty detailed overview of this. And then I want to show the Bergara B14R in this chassis, and then we'll have some final thoughts. So if you're ready to go, let's get to it. Let's talk about why the switch. So in the intro, I mentioned that MDT ACC for the CZ. Uh, that was one reason. Uh, another reason is as I started to look at the rifles I'm building, which are with the one, one and a quarter inch straight barrels, uh, I realized that the MDT ACC chassis doesn't necessarily work well with those. Uh, for example, on that CZ, I had to machine out some of the chassis to make that, that barrel work. On the MPA chassis, especially the Matrix Pro, this is geared for a 1.3 inch uh, barrel. So it should just fit perfectly in here. We're gonna see here in a few minutes. And so I went with that. The other thing is <clears throat> everything that comes with this chassis was, was just worth a little more. I got more value, let me put it to you that way, with this chassis than the MDT ACC. I still love the MDT ACC on my center fire rifle still run it, probably will continue to run it, um, but this MPA just looked like something I wanted to try, so that's why I made the switch. Let's go ahead and get into this specific chassis, what comes with it, things you should consider when you're thinking about these types of chassis, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. Well, let's look at the overall kind of features of the chassis. So it is 6061 aluminum. Uh, it's got the uh, AICS and AW magazine capabilities. The forend weight is 3.7 pounds. The rear weight is 2.5 pounds. Um, it's got a forend width. Now this is this is this forend width right here of 2.8 inches. Now. On the ACC, I had to get the Baker wings and kind of bolt them onto it to get it like this wide. So this really helps you when you're, you know, on a bag, it, it helps with this cant, right? The, it reduces the cant. And I really like this. I like the feel of that. You can grip it easily. So that's really uh, a nice, nice feature there. The forend length is 16.2 inches, but it also has this spigot on here that comes with this. We're gonna to get to that, what comes with it uh, in a little bit. And as I said earlier, the actual channel is 1.35 inches, but it will accept up to a 1.3 uh, inch barrel down the channel here. So that's really, really good. Uh, as I said before, on my MDT ACC, I had to kind of mill out some of this back here, this area back here. So now let's really talk about what this comes with. So those were kind of the, 
kind of the numerical features, but, but what does it come with when you buy this? Now, I bought some extra stuff that I'm going to get to in a minute, but here we go. So we've got the, uh, the V bedding system, which is part of the stock itself or part of the chassis itself, the butt stock with the, uh, adjustable cheek riser. And I'm going to, I'm going to talk about the butt stop here in a second, but let's go through what this comes with first. Two of five different grips. So they installed this, this grip. I told them the two grips that I wanted to try. They installed this one, but it comes with a whole nother grip here that's smaller than this. So if I get this on and I go, yeah, that's really not, that's a little too big. It comes with that. It comes with all three thumb rests. So you've got the thumb rests that are here, you know, cause when we shoot, our thumb is out here. It's not back here like this. You're, you're, you're holding the rifle like this. It comes with three of those thumb rests. It also comes with trigger finger guards. So it comes with four of those, which are, now oh, they're here somewhere. I don't know where I put them, but they're the, the, the trigger finger guards that go right here on the trigger guard. And they really help you place your finger. That's very comfortable to bring that trigger straight back. That's a huge thing, right? When you're reaching out eight, 900, a thousand yards, you have to have that, you have to have that trigger pull that comes straight back. And that's what that guard uh, helps you with. So it includes four of those additional grips. You can purchase those. It's got the front night vision sight. This is just the standard night vision sight. I may take it off. I may leave it on. I don't know. I think it adds a little more uh, uh, sturdiness uh, if you leave it on there. Uh, adjustable length of pull is 13 to 14 inches. Recoil pad is adjustable. So the recoil pad here, adjustable cheek riser, and then built-in bag rider with, uh, with butt hook. Now, uh, and this is the V4 spigot mount that, that comes out of here. Oh, and they also throw in a two round, you know, stage saver, match saver that's going to be mounted up here. I'm going to put this whole thing together, then we'll look at it. But I want to talk about the features now individually. So let's start at the front. Again, we've got this spigot, which is a dual purpose spigot. It's got Arca and Picatinny. So if you needed to put something Picatinny out there, you could. If you want to mount something Arca out here, you still can. Uh, it's got the night vision bridge, as I said, with a Picatinny rail on top of it. As far as the, the weighting of this goes, it has so many places to add exterior weights and whatnot at exterior on the interior, which is something that I bought extra. I bought the gray ops weights that just slide in here and then you just bolt those down. I really like that because you can slide those to wherever the weight is that you need it, uh, bolt them down and then you're good to go. And they don't interfere with the operation of your Arca equipment on the Arca rail. Uh, one other thing that I like is I like their, I like their, their kind of slanted barricade stop here on their magwell. I went ahead and got their extended barricade stop that I'm going to bolt onto that. And the nice thing about the matrix pro, you don't have to send this back to them to install this barricade stop on some of their other chassis. You do need to send it back. It's a charge, uh, uh, for them to drill those holes. And then this is still extra. So that's nice. When we get to the magwell itself, very nice uh, magwell. And by the way, this is an adjustable mag release. So depending on the magazine I'm running, I can adjust this mag release to optimize the functionality of that magazine and the release of it. I went ahead and got a, an extended mag release. I'm going to put this on here just to see how it works. We'll see how that goes. The trigger guard itself, I love how thick it is. So it's very wide here. And then once I put the, the uh, trigger rest on there, that should be good to go. As I said before, the, uh, the grip, five different options there, and they give you two options when you buy this thing. Now let's get to the buttstock. This is something that I just, I just really love and I hope I am going to love it. Number one. If you look at the cheek riser, I'm adjusting it here and you can see it's coming down. Uh, I'm not locking anything down. These have a detent, detent in them. 
that as I rotate this, you hear it click? It's clicking in place. So as, as, as I adjust this thing, it's going to stay there. So I can come here, do this, it's not moving. Same thing with the butt pad. Same thing. The detent, detent is there. There you go. It's not moving. Love it. The other thing that I really love, and I hope I'm going to get some really good use out of this, is the bag rider with the hook, right? The way this works is, how many times have you gotten on a bag and you go, dang, I'm, I'm staring at the sky, or I'm just above that tree line, I need to be down. I need to come down. Then you're out there adjusting your bipod. Well, with this, you've got a button here. Push it. That's giving you an extra, what is that, inch of height? And then if you need to, to bring it in a little bit, I can just bring it in. So think about that. You're on your bag. All you're doing is, is bringing this in and pushing that down until you get to where you are. And then you just release that and there you are. So I think that's a great feature. I've talked to some guys that run these and they say they, some use it all the time. Some rarely use it. It's just going to depend. So we're going to see how all that works out. So let me do this. Let me kind of put all the accessories on this thing and then let's see what that looks like. Well, here it is. Chassis all loaded up. So I went ahead and put the Bergara B14R, which is rimfire action in here with my 1.25 inch straight barrel. No problems in the channel doesn't rub up against anything, so fantastic. So good job, MPA, about making that channel large enough to accept these now larger barrels that are coming out. I have my Tractoric scope mounted and, and my uh, AccuTac uh, bipod uh, mounted as well. So all in all, the weight of this thing is about 22 pounds, which is perfect for me, right? My center fire is 22, this is 22. Um, I used all eight of the gray ops weights, internal weights uh, in this thing, and it balances perfectly. This barricade stop is awesome. Can't wait to use that in competition and practicing. Everything works good. One thing I wanted to make sure of was that I didn't have to take off the cheek rest here. There goes a rod, the cheek rest here to clean the rifle and I don't. So fantastic there. I can take out the bolt, put in my cleaning sleeve and the rod runs right over the back of this thing. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's see, kind of downside-ish I guess is there are no instructions with any of this. So <laughs> you're kind of figuring things out on your own. Now look, it's just screws in holes, I get that. But at the end of the day, you've got a whole bunch of stuff here and you've got to kind of figure out what goes where and what screws into what and how it goes, uh, action screw wise and, and other things. I'm going to give you one little piece of advice and that is on the weights, the internal weights from Gray Ops. They're fantastic. And I like the fact that they have three holes in each weight so you can position them along this underneath rail any way you need to position them. One thing I'm going to recommend to you is, though, there is a very specific weight for the spigot here. And you make sure that you, you, that you insert that weight last, number one. Number two, make sure that you don't tighten down any of these other weights. Do this one up here first. And the reason for that is, if you can see it, yeah, you can see it. The reason for that is this spigot has to line up with its holes in the slot in that weight. And then that weight's holes have to line up here with these two screws here. Don't be me. I started back here. And by the time I got out to here, guess what? It wasn't lining up. So just a little piece of advice there, right? Um, other than that, this thing is fantastic. I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to get out and shoot with it. And I'm doing a, a totally different video on the Bergara B14R. So I'll hopefully have that one out really soon and you can watch that one to see exactly how this uh, MPA Matrix Pro chassis is working out for me. So hey, 
Thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate the time, the likes, the subscriptions, the comments. It's all great. And until next time, shoot straight. Thank you.